Today on the show we have Miss Martz, Spanish and French teacher, foreign language teacher, and uh, today is Cinco de Mayo, so very, very festive Feliz Cinco today. de Mayo. Uh, so, who are you and what do you teach? I know I just said it, but you, you go through it. I am Mrs. Martz. I teach Spanish 2, 3, 4, and 5, and French 1. I'm also the Arawet advisor here at Allegheny. See, it's, it's nice when I had another person here because they can just jack it up whenever they want, and that's really nice. Mm -hmm. Oh, let me, I'll jack it up for you. Okay. What is your previous education? So, I uh, graduated from Fort Hill High School, Go Sentinels, and uh, then I went to Frostburg State University where I majored in um, modern foreign language and literature with a major in Spanish and a minor in French. Uh, during that time, I spent time in Ecuador and Peru to learn Spanish. So, uh, what's some of your favorite hobbies, sports activities, favorite TV shows, movies, books? I went from two to four. Sorry. Uh, I love to read. Um, I'm currently reading the Outlander series, and um, uh, I also, um, I'm a Netflix junkie, so um, I like Peaky Blinders and uh, uh, The Last Kingdom. Ooh! What made you want to teach Spanish? Uh, so I had a friend um, who actually went into uh, the Air Force to become a linguist, mm -hmm. um, where he was going to learn more than one language um, and work in intelligence, and he was going to be like a decoder or, you know, like spy on people and stuff. And I thought that'd be a really good job. Uh, so I tried to go in the Air Force, and they were like, you're too pretty. So um, I decided just to do Spanish at Frostburg State. I didn't want to teach. I wanted to do um, interpreting and translating. Um, but to stay in Cumberland and do that was kind of difficult, and my husband didn't want to leave. So uh, I became a teacher, and I didn't really want to become a teacher. I, I just didn't see myself doing it, but now that I'm here, in my 16th year, I love it. Um, what is your favorite part about teaching Spanish? Um, my favorite part about teaching is the Spanish, um, and of course interacting with the kids. But um, I just, I, I'm a nerd. I love the grammar, I love the, the language, I love um, perfecting my, my accent and trying to sound like a native. Um, it's just, it's fun for me. How has teaching during COVID affected your mindset? Oh my gosh. Uh, so as you know, when you learn a language, you need to read it and write it, but also speak it and listen to it. Um, so it's been very difficult to um, engage the students with listening because when they were home I didn't know if they could hear or if they if I was muted or if they were listening um, and it's been difficult because students don't want their cameras on they don't want to talk um, so the speaking and the listening have really been been difficult trying to figure out how to how to engage students in that my favorite part was when students came back and I got to see them and interact with them and um, you know I love asking a question in Spanish and everybody answers at once, that, you know, that kind of, they're all together on the same page. Um, my least favorite thing is concurrent. Okay, and then go ahead and uh, tell me about Arrowettes and what that's like. Uh, so, Arrowettes started actually in 1964, um, and it, the first line was handpicked, and it was always meant to be like an all-girls thing. Mm -hmm. um, today, I'll take anybody. Um, if a boy wants to participate, I have boys ask me all the time if they can come, and I, oh, absolutely. We are a drill team, we're not a dance team, so that uh, drill team means that there, it's more um, precision based and um, everybody is kind of doing the same thing, at this, like we look identical. Uh, I just, I really enjoy it and the girls do a great job. Alright, and then you have a class or an activity to, for me to do uh, today, what, what is that? Yeah, so um, I'm currently, uh, yeah, so we're having tryouts this year for, or this week for our new line. And um, you're gonna come this afternoon. You're gonna this evening. You're gonna stretch with us. Um, we're gonna see if you can kick. Um, and after the pain today, you might oh. wanna um, you know take some some pain relievers before you get get there. Yeah. Um, because you're in pain now. You're gonna be pain later. Uh, and then we're gonna do some commands, kind of military style, left face, right face, about face. Oh. Uh, and we're gonna see how you do. We're only on eight. We're only on eight. Mm -hmm. See, I always forget how, how bad it is. I guess cut to tonight. Oh, 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 why did that one hurt so bad? Because I screamed it up to 10. <laughs> so, um, 
Got the simulator on. And you got a name tag too, camera dude. Wow, camera dude. <laughs> My tryouts, I'm definitely gonna make it in. There's no way I'm not gonna make it in this. So is it a boy or a girl? How am I doing so far, Miss Martin? Well, I did hope you could uh, keep count better. Yeah. With your kicks, but yeah. uh, I was impressed with that left leg split. That was uh, pretty darn good. Yep, that's right. As of right now, do you think I'm going to make it in the air wets today? Um, no. Oh. Okay. <laughs> um, so we'll see how you do on commands next. Commands. Apparently, all I need to know is from my left to right, which I think I know. See how I got. Rigged. It's all rigged. You are screwing me out of this win right now. How, how am I, I that? definitely won that. I wasn't even part of the judging. You were judging. I, well, I was judging it, but I wasn't kicking kids you out of it. Definitely judging. <laughs> well, I'm sorry. For your first day, you did a nice job. Oh. So uh, how, how do you guys think I'm doing right now? You Pretty did different. awful, Drake. Oh. <laughs> you did kind of bad. Bad. You're not sharp at all. <laughs> that, was, that was pretty sharp. Your feet cannot be like this. They have to be like this. Point your toes. You keep punching everyone. Get it higher. Higher! Higher! <laughs> McKinley, he's not holding up his frame. You have to hold up your frame. Keep your shoulders square. Hands on your hips. Hands on your hips. Wrong way! <laughs> 
Put your toes. I'm trying. No, you're not. There you go. Put your toes though. Okay. Nine, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Stop. <laughs> that's right. That's right. That's right. Oh, so this is my I'm gonna be an arrowette, right? You can be our mascot! The arrow! Do you have an arrow costume? I can buy one! Let's go! Yeah! I'm gonna be the arrowette mascot! So that's this episode of Labor Pains. Thank you, Miss Martz, for coming on this episode. Thank you to the arrowette team for helping me learn. And much respect out to them. Because it's hard. It's really hard. And uh, thanks again. Thank you. The labor simulator's off now, so I feel better. You get yourself some tacos. It's Cinco de Mayo. Uh, we went to Mexico. <laughs> uh, no, we, I made them. And see you next season on Labor Pains. Thank you guys for watching this season. See you, everybody. Welcome everyone to the season finale of British Robert Tries. Today we will be trying Buffalo Wild Wings. So, today, I have a special guest with me. We have Zach Dobbs himself. How's the magazine, like, business been going for you? Yeah, I produce a magazine. It's called Dobbs. It's, well, it's, it's not doing too great. After Jeremiah Leatherman's accident, his football star debut, and how he fell off the mountain, it's just been horrible. I've been using his name on the cover, and it's just, it's really dropping the views for me. We have more savory sauces for the um, chicken. We got some boneless wings. I think we have 40. We have some dry rub sauces. And then we also have some of the spicier sauces with this being the spiciest, I presume. We have two orders of fries that we can try. An order of buffalo um, tater tots. First, we'll be trying some of the dry rubs. So first, we can try lemon pepper. A four on the Robert scale. Salt and vinegar. 3.8 out of five. Chipotle barbecue. Mm. I'd give that like a 4.1 or so. Pretty good. Buffalo. Nicely done. I'd give it like a four, a four on the Robert scale. Pizza. Tastes like just a bit off, so I think I'd give it like a 3.7. And finally, we have what I presume would be the hottest dry rub, Desert Heat. Pretty good, pretty good. I'd give that like a 4.2. I really like it. Next, I think we're going to move on to the savories. I'll just, since these are like savories, I just start from like left to right. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, thank you. Parmesan garlic. What are you doing, sir? I'd give it like a four on the Robert scale. The fries real quick. Mmm. I'd give him like a good like 4.1 or so on the Robert scale. Buffalo tots. And these are very well done. I'd give them like a pretty good like 4.5, maybe like a 4.6 orange chicken. I'd give it like a 4.3 on the Robert scale. Lemon pepper. It's not exactly my cup of tea when it comes to sauces for chicken. A 3.2 or so on the Robert scale. Honey barbecue. That is some really well done honey barbecue sauce, if I have to say so myself. A 4.4 on the Robert scale. Thai curry. I really like how 
You can taste like every single spice in it. A 4.3 on the Robert scale. Next, we have another variation of barbecue sauce. We have sweet barbecue. As the name implies, it's just like a really sweet version of honey barbecue. Pretty good. I'd give it like a 4.4 on the Robert scale. We have this limited time only sauce, whatever that means. I assume it's some type of barbecue sauce. So we have just learned that this sauce is called adobo sauce. It's not bad. I think I'd give it like a 3.2 or so on the Robert scale. German jalapeno. A three on the Robert scale or so. Ooh, teriyaki sauce. Mmm, that is some really good teriyaki sauce. I think I'll give it like a 4.4. Caribbean jerk. I'll give it like a 4.1 or so on the Robert scale. We might have to leave it to my good friend Zach Dobbs here because sadly our filming day was picked on a day where I'm not feeling my best. So I'll see how many of these sauces I can get through without getting sick. So first we have Miles, like a 4.0. Original Buffalo, pretty good. I'd give that like a 4.3 or so on the Robert scale. Spicy garlic. I don't think I can eat that. I don't think the garlic is going to agree with me. <laughs> Zach, I am trusting you with every fiber in my being right now. A 4.2. It's not mixing well. <laughs> oh God, the things I do for AML. How are you doing after that uh, crazy fight on the last episode of Slice? Um, I'm doing better, although I'm definitely moving back to Sweden after this. Mango habanero. Dripping. It goes like 4.4 on the Robin scale. I must not have put enough flavor on it or something because I'm not tasting the spice yet. Robert? Drake? What are, you, what are you doing here? I'm doing British Robert tries. British Robert tries? Where'd Mr. Cameraman go? I have no idea. Did he go to the bathroom? He must have went to the bathroom. Oh. Yeah. Well, I just finished labor pains, so... <laughs> yeah, we both got finales coming out, aren't we? What were you trying right now? Did I, did I come for the sweet and savory sauces? Because I love sweet and savory. Actually, right now, we're on hot. Are you serious? I, I can't do hot stuff, Robert. Go ahead, my friend. It's not gonna be that hot, right? I should have worn my labor simulator. That's pretty spicy. Hey, Zach. Hi, Dre. How's the magazine going? Oh, it's great. New publisher. He's top of the line. Never heard of him. I'm sure of it. Harry Dietrich. 4.4. Next, we have Nashville Hot. A three, maybe a 3.2 on the Robert scale. Better than anything Darian and Aubrey ever made. It's pretty hot. Oh. Okay, so next we have the hottest sauce, which would be the Blazing Carolina Reaper. Is it really? It's Carolina Reaper. No, it's not. Is it really? So obviously Robert isn't trying this one because he's about to like die over here. <laughs> it's time for me to die. Drake, that's the face of instant regret. Are you glad you showed up for dinner here today? No. I'm not feeling it. I had a lot of oh. Where is <laughs> Okay, so there's no way you're not gonna feel this. Robert's gonna try a little bit. Hmm. I think I'd be willing to give Buffalo Wild Wings like a good like 4.4 on the Robert scale overall. Well, I would just like to say thank you to Buffalo Wild Wings and thank you to our waiter who was so accommodating to us and like helped like helped us get through the episode. It was really nice of them. Um, thank you Buffalo Wild Wings for sponsoring us today. It was good. Hey, I hey, enjoyed wait, myself. Hey. Isn't that the Jeremiah Leatherman? The football star? Mr. Leatherman. How is life? I'm After tired. the fall. No, please. You, please answer one question. One. One. Just say it say it into the mic here. Yeah. yeah. M Mr. Leatherman. I'm retired. No questions. My career is over. If they're done over there, thank you guys for um watching the season so far. I enjoy making these with some of my friends.
Thank you guys for watching the finale. I'll see you in the guys next year. Goodbye, everyone. I will. That's a wrap. Ladies and gentlemen, I welcome you to the greatest athletic competition of all time, where we will see warriors compete. In this show, you must not just be a warrior, you must be a pizza warrior. Do you have what it takes? What's good, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to Papa's Pizza Warrior. But I have very good faith in today's contestant. It's been a fun season. First we had Robert the Loser. He came here and he lost. He was the, he was the big loser. I really thought Robert was gonna have a good chance, but he can't do anything. He can't cook fish and he can't complete my obstacle course. And then we had Drake. Now, I was a little bit nicer to Drake because I felt sad. It was just sad watching that. But he did, he did okay, I guess. And then Little Caesar came on, and let me tell you, you thought Robert did bad? Little Caesar's a piece of work. He's just like his mother. But today, oh, I'm excited for today, because we got my good old buddy, Gianni! He's making the sprint. What's up, man? What's up, Papa? Hey, 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 nothing much. And then, I'm just reminding people to stay safe. We're still in a pandemic, but we are outside and we're going to try our best to stay distance. That way he doesn't have to wear a, a mask while it's 98 degrees out right now, because that's how hot it was last time I checked the weather. The world's getting better. Hopefully it just gets more normal from here. We can only hope, but... Gianni, how how you been doing Doing ever good. since sliced ended? Try G Gianni's Italian Ice. My yeah. new product. Your new what? My new, my new product. That's it. Pizza wasn't working, so now I make Italian ice. Weiler's authentic Italian ice. Yeah, it's mine. What? What's so? Uh, what's with the shirt? She, she's my idol. Ronda Rousey. Ronda Rousey. She's but, the, she's the man. Why? Why Ronda Rousey? Why not? She's the best. You got an issue with Ronda Rousey? It's cicada season. So throughout the obstacle course, there'll be giant. Bugs flying everywhere and on all, every, all of our equipment. Are you excited, buddy? I'm excited. You want to get started then? Let's get it. Let's go. Where are we going first? It's the sit-up challenge. You put your legs to the thing and you sit up, buddy. Come on. Ugh. One. Two. Three. Come on, you got this. No, you know, that's going to only hurt your chances. Well, do more sit-ups. A new record, ladies and gentlemen. You need 10 sit-ups. One. That's the balance beam, baby! Balance on the beam, buddy! <laughs> hey, look at that! It's time for body curls! What? Come on! Curl that body, baby! Curl the body! Curl! You're Gianni, you got this! I can see your stomach. Too bad. I'm chin up, somebody. Come on, chin up! Get chin above the bar, come on, I want 10, I want 10 done. 10 done. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, Eight, nine, whoa, yeah! He's killing it! Next time with the horizontal ladder, or the monkey bar. So climb like a monkey. Oh, he's doing it! Oh, oh my God, he's doing it! He's doing it! One foot on bar, up and down. Oh! Now climb the ladder. Fine, don't climb the ladder. Wait, wait there. No, 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 sit up there, buddy. Sit up there. This thing is shaking so bad. Where are you going, Papa? Yeah, I just got thirsty, buddy. Don't worry about it. Okay. Yeah, I love Diet Cola and Mentos. Me too. Oh, it yeah. Tastes very good. Tree, climb over! Everyone's done it so far. Everyone. That thing! What's that thing? Do it! Oh! Oh, let's go! Let's go! Lift your legs, boy. Just keep lifting your legs. I'll be right back, buddy. Am I doing good, cameraman? Come on, put these on! 
What is this? The circles. Why? Just put them on. No. Put them on. No. Do it. Come on. Up. Oh, What's your problem? What are you doing, Papa? Papa, what are you doing? You want to put the circles on yet? No. All right, let's keep going. Come on, 10 seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, okay, let's go, let's go, one. Do this. What is this? I don't know. I don't remember. What are you doing now, Papa? I don't worry, buddy. You want another mint toast? Where are you going? Tired of this. What are you doing, buddy? What does it look like I'm doing? You're coming to your senses, aren't you? Entirely. If you want to be a Papa Pizza Warrior, you do what I say. It's kind of hard to breathe out the nose, though. Come on, put them on, buddy. This is why Hartley left you. This is why they say you don't matter. You're wrong. Go, go, go! <laughs> Dip station! 50! <laughs> Come on! <laughs> Come on! <laughs> 50! One, two, three, 34, 35, 48, 49, One more, 50! Someone came out to Constitution Park Pool, or just Park in general, and they completely destroyed the bathroom. It's a little PSA. It's not cool and it's not funny. You're just destroying things that other people are using. Isn't that right, Gianni? Mm hmm All right, I want you to do a dance on this pole. Keep dancing. Ah! Ah! <laughs> pull-ups! Do pull-ups! Ah! Ah! I don't care if you're my favorite. I want you to win. Climb the rope! I'm just gonna open it. Oh my god. Oh. Ah! Ah! Come on, come on, let's go, let's go! Final stretch! I want you to win! Please! You're not jumping! Jump, man! Jump! Jump! Why aren't you jumping? I jump! Shut up! Ooh, go! Jump over! I can't jump over that! Yes, you can't try! You can try! I believe! Jump! Jump already! I can't jump over it! Jump! I can't jump over it! You look so stupid right now. Sucks! Do you want to be a Papa's Pizza Warrior? I do. That's your last challenge here for the button. Ah! You're better than this! You could be a Papa's Pizza Warrior, but you're doing this! This isn't you, Gianni! This isn't you! Do you really think this is you? Huh? Ah! 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 Look at me, ask me one last time. Do you have what it takes to be a Papa's Pizza Warrior? I do, Papa John. Ah! Go touch the button. Gianni, shake my hand. You're a Papa's Pizza Warrior! Listen, Gianni, you did phenomenal. You proved to everyone else that you're so much better than them, so much better looking, so much more talented, smarter, funnier, better at doing this obstacle of course, better at impressing me. But Gianni, you need a new name if you're gonna be a Papa's Pizza Warrior. I guess I'll go by the new name of Giovanni Stromboli. Giovanni Stromboli. I like it. I, Papa John, crowned Lee, get on a knee. I crown you, Giovanni Stromboli, Papa's Pizza Warrior. It's Pizza Warrior. If Ronda Rousey was watching this right now, what do you think she'd think? I know exactly what she would do. Ah! 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 Well, folks, there you have it. Giovanni Stromboli is the winner. Thank you all for watching. The show meant a lot to me. I got a little bit more, uh, you know, wet than I hoped, but it was all worth it to find the first ever Papa's <laughs> Pizza Warrior. We'll see you next year.